Hello, this is Donald the Repentless, and I'm going to talk today about another gem of ignorance from the mind of Heleno Hanzo. I know what you might be thinking, just don't continue feeding this guy's ego. I mean, he's an ignorant piece of shit who only gets about 50 views per video. Well, I'm, this may be a bit of jealousy, but I try to put out factual and interesting information but I struggle to get 10 vi views per video. What's worse is this guy portrays himself as some kind of professional apologist while spouting this crap in his videos, which is his views that are the most ignorant, stupid, and groundless crap I have ever heard. More to the point, it's quite clear that his English comprehension is not very high and English is not his primary language, yet he puts these videos out in English, a language he has not mastered, apparently. With his credentials, a diploma mill certificate, which wouldn't qualify him as a rodeo clown, let alone someone who should guide people on matters of spirituality and morality. His title to the video is Preventive Detention to atheists. Now, shouldn't that be detention for atheists instead of to atheists? I mean, what the fuck does this actually mean? I, I think I get it, but does he really think that atheists should be imprisoned for not believing in a god or religion? Now, he probably is meaning only the Christian religion, or rather his own flavor of Christianity. Would he suggest that people who believe in another religion other than Christianity should be imprisoned as well? Or, or are you, or is he only bigoted towards atheists? I mean, I'd like to know this for sure, for certain. I mean, I'm almost tempted to, to write him on Twitter and ask him this question because he does seem to have this bias against atheists. One can understand because of, of his religious background, but to suggest that atheists should be put in jail for being atheists, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. So, let's go ahead and do this thing and dive into Heleno Hanzo's latest piece of... Even some Christian apologists claim atheists can be moral. How can you be moral if you rebuff your own creator and moral giver? By rebuffing the creator, you are showing a tremendous ungratefulness. By rebuffing the moral giver... You are rebuffing morality. Not just the act of rebuffing your father is immoral, but you lose all the reference to what is morality. Morality is a human construct that has grown and changed over just a millennia of recorded history. There are written moral codes that pre-exist the Bible. Morality at, at its heart is a reflection of the combined empathy and community that is a human species. No super, supernatural morality giver need, needed here. Further, in order to assert a moral lawgiver, you must be able to provide substantive evidence for the existence of such a being. Not only that, a the account of such a being should show a consistent record of morality as being part of this being's character which the Bible is not, nor have you presented any kind of evidence in your presentations that would persuade me to believe in the existence of such a moral lawgiver. Yet you expect people to, intelligent people to, to just accept your proclamations as if they're fact? Why, and that's why I'm going out of my way to make these kind of videos to call you out on your bullshit. How can you have people in your society who can justify why more is wrong? Especially knowing they think humans are animals. How can you have as friends and family who can choose what is right or wrong and be so unpredictable when it comes to morality? How can you have as teachers people who can know why pedophilia and homosexualism are wrong? How can you have as partner people who think you are an animal? who has no feelings, and life has no value, and it stands on what? 
By every possible standard, humans are animals. Even the Christian scientist Carl Linnaeus acknowledged this when he classified humans as primates while creating his taxonomic system for classifying all life and animals, or the so-called tree of life that Darwin inherited. We are civilized animals who invented civilization, but we are animals nonetheless. Pedophilia is wrong because it takes advantage and destroys the innocence of childhood. It's a form of rape that victimizes the most pure and defenseless among us. It creates a vicious cycle of abuse in society that needs to be eradicated. You keep trying to lump in pedophilia with homosexuality. Only the most ignorant cunts like you can't see that pedophilia has nothing to do with homosexuality. And more pedophiles are heterosexual than homosexual. You have never demonstrated that homosexuality is wrong. What you have demonstrated is that your grasp of biology is just as poor as your grasp of the English language. Is Ryo wrong? Can diversify as he pleases? One minute an atheist might think it's wrong to rape and kill, by the next minute decide it is okay. After all, he is the authority of what morality is. He thinks there's no an omnipresent being. I have already went over the reasons why we don't need some kind of omnipresent morality giver. I think you'll find that most atheists have a more consistent morality than people like you. People who want to see America be a theocracy want to lock up people who don't buy into the religion and have the ability to discriminate, discriminate against anyone you deem unclean. Worse yet, you may well want to see people executed for being gay in the biblical sense. And you call yourself pro-life, more than likely. What are you saying? You're only moral because you're afraid some invisible guy in the sky is watching you? That's not morality. That's the least moral thing I've ever heard. I mean, morality is doing what's right, even if you're not being watched. Watching his actions, an atheist doesn't believe and have no reason to improve morally, for the fact he has no moral orientation and no reason to do so, especially they consider morality to be a burden, which is the reason they claim to be atheists in the first place. They are trying to escape God's creative fault purpose and morality for humanity. An atheist is no more for the fact he denies moral giver, have no reason to be moral, considers morality to be a burden, can change his morals as he pleases. He believes in no answer for his immorality to any omnipresent being and consider humans to be. Atheists deny a moral giver and a God created moral default because such a being has not been demonstrated to exist. Where do you get this idea that atheists have no moral, moral orientation or no reason to improve morally or that atheists consider morality to be a burden? Right out of your ass, I think. I don't see morality as a burden. It's part of my identity as a person. It's part of the unspoken social contract that makes peaceful cohabitation in our society possible. Atheists have every reason to improve, to be a better citizen, to be a better mentor for the young men and women in our lives. It's the Christians like you who have little reason to improve, because as long as you believe in the fairy tales and accept Jesus into your heart, no matter what you do, you'll be forgiven. The animals. An atheist is a bomb which will eventually explode. Will he kill, rape, and commit all possible immorality? Only time will tell. Society take that chance. Care less for kids and women. Why am I not surprised? that you end on a nonsensical word jumble. 
that neither ties anything together or wraps things up. The atheist is only a bomb in your warped mind. The questions posed by you are meant to engender a fear, an irrational fear of atheists that reflects your own delusional psyche. Feel free to comment below, thumbs up the video, spread the word of this individual's ignorance, and subscribe for more. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everyone.